Playing with Power MTG. Powerful cards, powerful formats. Before we get into tonight's game, I wanted to talk about the sponsor of this video, Card Conduit. Card Conduit is the best service when it comes to selling your extra cards. Don't waste hours trying to find the best buy list price for your cards online. Simply send them to Card Conduit and let them take care of the rest. Send them your unsorted cards and Card Conduit will sort, grade, and find the best price for you online. They have three main services. Their standard service lets you send them unsorted cards of any value. They will sort, grade, and give you the best prices for your cards, including bulk. Their curated service is similar. Send them your unsorted cards worth over a dollar in value, and then they will charge half the fee of the standard service and charge no fee per card. Their new sorted service is a great value as well. Choose cards in advance with their selection tool, send them pre-sorted to Card Conduit, and they will grade and buy list them automatically. Save yourself the time of having to send them to multiple sites and let Card Conduit do it instead. Their fee is only 2% with no fee per card. They will give you the best price for your cards as well. They work with competitive buy listing partners, including ones not open to the public. Users get an average of 19% more for their collection than they would from any major retail buy list, even with Card Conduit's fees. They also optimize buy listing for card condition as well. Since vendors have different penalties for wear and tear, Card Conduit will find the best buy list priced against the specific condition of a card. So give Card Conduit a try today. If you sign up with my link in the description below or use the promo code POWER, you will also get 10% off their fees when you use their service. A big thanks to Card Conduit for sponsoring today's video. Playing with Power members Zach and Mike are back to battle it out with our Mox Pearls. They have brought what seems like the only deck they really play anymore to the table. We will see how they do tonight. Now, let's start out by showcasing our fighters this evening. First, we have Philip piloting Abdel Adrian Gorian's Ward with Candlekeep Sage as the background. This is a Displacer Kitten deck seeking to land its value engines and grind out the game. It wins after drawing its deck with Labman or Thassa's Oracle. Philip's opening hand contains a Mana Vault, Urza Saga, Prairie Stream, Jataxian Probe, Opt, Chrome Mox, and a Ranger Captain of Eos. Next, we have Zack piloting the partner pair of Timna the Weaver and Krom Ludovic's Opus. This deck seeks to win fast with combos or fall back on its commanders as draw engines. This deck is the pinnacle of four color piles. Zack's opening hand contains a Chain of Vapor, Chrome Mox, Red Elemental Blast, Ancient Tomb, Wooded Foothills, Jeweled Lotus, and his London Mulligan is a Demonic Consultation. After that, we have Sean piloting the partner pair of Thrasios Triton Hero and Bruce Tarl Borish Herder. This deck focuses on landing its commanders and value pieces such as Seedborn Muse. It wins through a variety of infinite mana outlets. Sean's opening hand contains a Mystical Tutor, Worldly Tutor, Swift Reconfiguration, Sylvan Library, City of Brass, Gemstone Caverns, and his London Mulligan is a Wargate. Finally, we have Mike piloting the partner pair of Krom Ludovic's Opus and Ikra Shadiki the Usurper. This is a mid-range ad nauseum deck that grinds value with its commanders and eventually ad nauses for a lot of life. Mike's opening hand contains a Command Tower, Mental Misstep, Lotus Petal, Rhystic Study, Ancient Tomb, and his London Mulligans are Toxic Deluge and Swan Song. Without further ado, let's begin this wall-to-wall -wall waltz of Wavering Watchful Whales. Philip was able to stay awake the longest and gets to start us off. But Sean has a pre-game action and puts Gemstone Caverns onto the battlefield, exiling Mystical Tutor. Philip draws a card for turn and pays two life to help cast Jataxian Probe, targeting Zack. He looks at Zack's hand and draws a card. He plays a Tundra. He casts Chrome Mox, imprinting Opt. He casts a Mana Vault. He passes. Zack draws a card for turn and plays an Ancient Tomb. He taps it to help cast Arcane Signet. He casts Chrome Mox, imprinting Chain of Vapor. He casts Jeweled Lotus. He cracks it to help cast his commander, Chrome Ludovic's Opus. In response, Sean casts Worldly Tutor. He fetches up a Dockside Extortionist onto the top of his library. Then Chrome resolves. He moves to combat and attacks Mike with Krom. Mike takes it, and Zack ends his turn. Sean draws and plays a City of Brass. He taps it to help cast Sylvan Library. He ships the turn to Mike. Mike draws and plays an Ancient Tomb. He casts a Lotus Petal. He cracks his Petal and taps his Ancient Tomb to help cast Rhystic Study. Krom triggers, and Zack draws. Mike gives the turn to Philip. Philip draws and casts a Mox Opal. Rhystic triggers, and Mike draws. He plays a Prairie Stream into play tapped. He casts his Commander, Abdel Adrian, Gorian's Ward. Rhystic and Krom trigger, Zack draws, and then Philip pays for Rhystic. Abdel enters, and Philip exiles Mana Vault and Mox Opal, creating two 1 1 soldiers. All finished up, he passes the turn to Zack. Zack draws and plays a Hallowed Fountain into play untapped, paying 2 life. He taps his Ancient Tomb to help cast his other commander, Timna the Weaver, paying for Rhystic. He moves to combat and attacks Mike with Krom. Mike takes it, and in his second main phase, Zack pays 1 life and draws 1 through Timna. Zack ships the turn. During his draw step, Sean draws 2 extra through Sylvan Library, paying 8 life to keep them both. He plays an island for turn. He taps his City of Brass to help cast his commander, Thrasios, Triton Hero, paying for Rhystic Study. Sean passes. 
Mike draws and plays a command tower. He taps his ancient tomb to help cast Ledger Shredder. He casts Sensei's Divining Top, Ledger Shredder, and Chrom Trigger. Zack draws and Mike connives, discarding Mental Misstep, giving Ledger Shredder a plus one plus one counter. Mike ends his turn. Philip draws and plays an Urza Saga, getting its first counter. He moves to combat and attacks Zack with Abdel. Zack takes it, and in his second main phase, Philip casts Spellseeker. Ristic triggers, and Mike draws. Spellseeker resolves, and Philip fetches up an Ephemerate into his hand. He ships the turn to Zack. Zack draws and plays a Wooded Foothills. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Badlands onto the battlefield. He casts Imperial Seal, paying for Ristic. He fetches up a card onto the top of his library and loses two life. He moves to combat and attacks Sean with Temna. Sean blocks with Thrasios, and Zack gains two life. All finished up, Zack gives the turn to Sean. During his draw step, Sean draws two extra through Sylvan Library, paying eight life to keep them both. He plays a Windswept Teeth for turn. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Tropical Island onto the battlefield. He casts Dockside Extortionist, Ristic Triggers, and Mike draws. Dockside enters and, in response, Mike activates Sensei's Divining Top, drawing a card and putting Top on top. Then Dockside creates five treasures. Sean transmutes Muddle the Mixture, fetching up a Devoted Druid into his hand. He casts Devoted Druid, Ledger Shredder, Ristic, and Chrom Trigger. Zack and Mike draw, and Mike connives. Then Devoted Druid resolves. Sean passes. Mike draws and plays a Flooded Strand. He taps his Ancient Tomb to recast Sensei's Divining Top. He activates Top, looking at and rearranging the top three. He cracks his Flooded Strand, pays a life, and fetches up an Underground Sea onto the battlefield. He ends his turn. Philip draws, and in his first main phase, Urza Saga gets another counter. He casts his background, Candle Keep Sage. Ristic triggers, and Mike draws. He moves to combat and attacks Sean with Abdel. Sean takes it, and all finished up, Philip passes. At the end of Philip's turn, Zack taps his Ancient Tomb to help cast Intuition, targeting Philip. Ristic triggers, and Mike draws. Zack fetches up a Savine's Reclamation, Lion's Eye Diamond, and an Underworld Breach. Philip gives him Lion's Eye Diamond. The turn moves to Zack. Zack draws and immediately moves to combat. He attacks Sean with Krom. Sean takes it, and in his second main phase, Zack pays one life and draws one through Temna. He plays a Steam Vents into play untapped, paying two life. He taps his Ancient Tomb to help cast Dockside Extortionist, paying for Ristic. In response, Philip casts Ephemerate, targeting Abdel. Ristic triggers, and Mike draws. Ephemerate resolves, and Abdel flickers, returning Mox Opal and Mana Vault to the battlefield. Candlekeep Sage triggers twice, and Philip draws twice. Abdel enters, and in response, Philip floats mana from Mana Vault and Mox Opal. Then he exiles them again with Abdel, creating two 1 1 soldiers. With Dockside still on the stack, Philip flashes in a Dress Down. Krom, Ledger Shredder, and Ristic Trigger. Philip pays for Ristic, Mike connives, and then Zack draws. In response, Zack casts Red Elemental Blast, targeting Dress Down. Ledger Shredder and Ristic Trigger. Zack pays for Ristic, and Mike connives. Red Elemental Blast counters Dress Down, and Dockside resolves. Dockside enters, and in response, Sean cracks two treasures. Also in response, Mike activates Top, drawing a card and putting Top on Top. Finally, Dockside creates five treasures. Zack casts Diabolic Intent, sacrificing Dockside, paying for Ristic. He fetches up a card into his hand. He casts Silence, paying for Ristic. In response, Mike casts Flusterstorm, with all copies targeting Silence. Silence is countered, and Zack follows it up with a Soul Ring. Ristic triggers, and Mike draws. Zack moves to change phases, and in response, Sean casts Swift Reconfiguration, targeting Devoted Druid. Ristic triggers, and holding priority, Mike casts Vampiric Tutor. Ledger Shredder and Chrom Trigger. Zack draws, and Mike connives. Then Mike fetches up a card onto the top of his library and loses two life. Sean pays for Ristic, and still in response to Swift Reconfiguration, Zack casts Cabal Ritual. Ristic triggers, and Mike draws. In response, Mike casts Mindbreak Trap for its alternate cost, targeting both Cabal Ritual and Swift Reconfiguration. Both are exiled, and finally, the turn moves to Sean. During his draw step, Sean draws two extra through Sylvan Library, paying eight life to keep them both. He plays a Taiga for turn. He casts Birds of Paradise, paying for Ristic. He activates Devoted Druid, putting a minus one minus one counter on it and untapping it. He casts Gilded Drake. Ristic, Ledger Shredder, and Krom Trigger. Zack draws off of Krom, Mike connives from Shredder, and then Sean pays for Ristic. Gilded Drake resolves and exchanges control with Ledger Shredder. Sean passes. Mike draws and plays an Exotic Orchard. He taps his Ancient Tomb to cast Culling Ritual. In response, Zack casts Fierce Guardianship for its alternate cost. Mike draws off of Ristic, and then Culling Ritual is countered. Mike casts Imperial Seal, Krom, and Ledger Shredder Trigger. Sean connives, and Zack draws. Seal resolves, and Mike fetches up a card onto the top of his library and loses two life. All finished up, he ends his turn. During his upkeep, Philip's Ephemerate rebounds, targeting Spellseeker. Ristic triggers, and Philip pays. Ephemerate flickers Spellseeker, and Philip fetches up a Cloud Shift into his hand. He draws, and in his first main phase, Urza Saga gets its final counter. He sacrifices it, fetching up a Mana Crypt onto the battlefield. He casts Displacer Kitten. Krom, Shredder, and Ristic trigger, everyone draws, and Sean connives. 
In response, Sean taps the City of Brass to help cast Delay, targeting Displacer Kitten, Ristic Triggers, and Mike Draws. Delay resolves, and Displacer Kitten is countered and exiled with three time counters on it. Next, Philip casts Cloud Shift, targeting Abdel, Ristic Triggers, and Mike Draws. Abdel flickers, Candle Keep Sage Triggers, and Philip draws twice. Abdel enters and exiles Spellseeker, creating a 1 1 soldier. He plays an island for turn. He casts Mystic Remora, Ristic Triggers, and Mike draws. Philip gives the turn to Zack. Zack draws and casts Sensei's Divining Top. Ristic and Remora trigger, and Philip and Mike draw. He activates Top, looking at and rearranging the top three. He activates Top, drawing a card and putting Top on top. He taps his Ancient Tomb to help cast Phantasmal Image, Shredder, and Ristic trigger. Zack pays for Ristic, and Sean connives. In response, Philip casts Silence. Ristic triggers and Mike draws. Silence resolves and Phantasmal Image enters as a copy of Dockside Extortionist, creating eight treasures. He plays a Tarnished Citadel for turn. Locked out by Silence, Zack passes. During his draw step, Sean draws two extra through Sylvan Library, paying four life to keep one extra. He takes no other actions and passes. Mike draws and plays a Forbidden Orchard. He taps his Ancient Tomb to help cast Wishclaw Talisman. Remora triggers and Philip draws. Wishclaw resolves and Mike activates it, fetching up a card into his hand and giving Wishclaw to Philip. He casts Tenderwall. Crom and Shredder trigger. Sean connives and Zack draws. Mike sacrifices Tenderwall, adding two red. He casts Dockside Extortionist. In response, Sean activates Thrasios, scrying one and revealing a Noxious Revival into his hand. Dockside enters and he creates 18 treasures. Mike taps his Forbidden Orchard, giving Philip a 1 1 spirit to help cast Sensei's Divining Top. Remora triggers and Philip draws. He activates Top, looking at and rearranging the top three. He casts Tainted Pact. Remora triggers and Philip draws. Mike exiles from the top of his library until he reveals a Veil of Summer. He puts it into his hand. He casts Peer into the Abyss. Remora triggers and Philip draws. In response, Sean casts Deflecting Swat for its alternate cost, targeting Peer into the Abyss. Ristic and Remora trigger, Philip and Mike draw, and then in response, Mike casts an Offer You Can't Refuse, targeting Deflecting Swat. Remora triggers and Philip draws. In response, Sean hard casts Force of Negation, targeting Peer into the Abyss. Shredder, Ristic, Remora, and Krom all trigger. Zack, Philip, and Mike all draw. In response to the Shredder trigger, Mike casts Veil of Summer. Remora triggers and Philip draws. Veil of Summer resolves and Mike draws. Then Sean connives. Force of Negation resolves, but doesn't counter Peer into the Abyss because of Veil of Summer. An offer you can't refuse counters Deflecting Swat and Sean creates two treasures. Still in response to Peer into the Abyss, Sean casts Noxious Revival, targeting Deflecting Swat in his graveyard. Ristic and Remora trigger and Sean pays Ristic and Philip draws. Noxious Revival resolves and Sean puts Deflecting Swat onto the top of his library. Still in response, in order to give Sean answers, Zack casts Lightning Bolt, targeting Mike's Dockside. Ristic and Remora trigger. Philip draws and Zack pays for Ristic. Lightning Bolt resolves and Dockside dies. Still in response, Zack casts an overloaded Cyclonic Rift. Shredder, Ristic, and Remora trigger. Philip draws off of Remora, Zack pays for Ristic, and Sean connives. Then still in response, Sean casts Deflecting Swat for its alternate cost, targeting Peer into the Abyss once again. Ristic and Remora trigger, and Philip and Mike draw. In response to Swat, Mike casts Noxious Revival, targeting Mind Break Trap. Remora triggers, and Philip draws. Noxious Revival resolves, and Mike puts Mind Break Trap onto the top of its library. Then Mike activates his top, drawing a card and putting top on top. Mike casts Mind Break Trap for its alternate cost, targeting Cyclonic Rift and deflecting Swat. Remora triggers, and Philip draws. Mind Break Trap resolves, exiling Cyclonic Rift and deflecting Swat. Then, Peer into the Abyss finally resolves. Mike draws half of his library and loses half of his life, rounded up. Mike casts Yawgmoth's Will. Remora triggers and Philip draws. With his opponent spent on interaction and under the Veil of Summer, Yawgmoth's Will resolves without a fight. He casts Lotus Petal from his graveyard. Remora triggers and Philip draws. He casts Dockside Extortionist from his graveyard. In response, Zack cracks his treasures. Dockside resolves and Mike creates 11 treasures. He casts Demonic Tutor. Remora triggers and Philip draws. Mike fetches up a card into his hand. He casts Phantasmal Image. It enters as a copy of Dockside, creating 11 treasures. He casts Mnemonic Betrayal because playing with his own graveyard just wasn't enough. Remora triggers and Philip draws. Mike, taking no chances, casts Silence from Philip's graveyard. Remora triggers and Philip draws his 100,000th card for the turn. Then Silence resolves, locking his opponents out of casting spells. Mike casts Thassa's Oracle. It enters and in response to the trigger, Mike casts Tainted Pact. Remora triggers and Philip draws. Mike exiles his library to Tainted Pact. Thassa's Oracle trigger resolves, and Mike wins the game. What an absolutely insane game. Since that wasn't enough punishment for the team, they decided to go again. Zack brings back Timna and Thrasios, and his opening hand contains an Underground Sea, Scalding Tarn, 
Talisman of Progress, Swords to Plowshares, Ad Nauseam, and his London Mulligans are Thassa's Oracle and Mental Misstep. Sean brings back Thrasios and Bruce, and his opening hand contains a Soul Ring, Zerda the Dawn Waker, Emil the Blast, Crop Rotation, Resculpt, Exotic Orchard, and a Taiga. Mike brings back Igra and Krom, and his opening hand contains a Fierce Guardianship, Phantasmal Image, Peer into the Abyss, Mana Crypt, Bayou, Sensei's Divining Top, and Mental Misstep. Philip brings back Abdel and Candlekeep Sage, and his opening hand contains a Command Tower, Mana Crypt, Deep Gnome Terramancer, Swan Song, Esper Sentinel, and his London Mulligans are Mana Leak and Reality Shift, and Zack gets to start us off. Zack draws and plays a Scalding Tarn, he passes. Sean draws and plays a Taiga, he casts a Soul Ring, he passes. Mike draws and plays a Bayou, he casts a Mana Crypt, he casts a Sensei's Divining Top, he activates Top, looking at and rearranging the top three. Mike ships the turn to Philip. Philip draws and plays a Command Tower. He casts a Mana Crypt. He casts Esper Sentinel. In response, Zack cracks his Scalding Tarn, pays a life, and fetches up a Tundra onto the battlefield. He casts Enlightened Tutor. In response, Mike pays two life to help cast Mental Misstep, countering Enlightened Tutor. Then Sentinel resolves, and Philip ends his turn. Zack draws and plays an Underground Sea. He casts Talisman of Progress. Esper Sentinel triggers, and Philip draws. Zack ships the turn to Sean. Sean draws and plays an Exotic Orchard. He casts his Commander, Thrasios, Triton Hero. He casts a Mana Crypt. Esper triggers and Philip draws. Sean passes. During his upkeep, Mike wins his Mana Crypt roll. He draws and activates Top, drawing a card and putting Top on Top. He plays an Exotic Orchard for turn. He casts Ledger Shredder. He gives the turn to Philip. During his upkeep, Philip wins his Mana Crypt roll. He draws and plays an Island. He casts Chrome Mox and Printing Ponder. He casts his background, Candlekeep Sage. Ledger Shredder triggers and Mike can have Sensei's Divining Top, giving Ledger Shredder a counter. He moves to combat and attacks Zack with Esper Sentinel. Zack takes it, and all finished up, Philip passes the turn. Zack draws and casts his commander, Timna the Weaver. He passes. At the end of Zack's turn, Sean activates Thrasios. In response, Philip flashes in Deep Gnome Terramancer. Sean scries one, revealing Finale of Devastation into his hand. The turn moves to Sean. During his upkeep, Sean wins his Mana Crypt roll. He draws and casts Finale of Devastation where X equals 2. Esper Sentinel triggers, and Philip draws. Finale resolves, and Sean fetches up a Dockside Extortionist onto the battlefield. It enters, and Sean creates six treasures. He casts Emil the Blessed. Ledger Shredder triggers, and Mike connives. One by one, the table passes priority, and Emil resolves. He activates Emil, targeting Dockside. Dockside flickers and creates six treasures. Sean presents a loop of activating Emil, flickering Dockside, and creating more and more treasures. He uses his treasures to activate Thrasios, drawing his library and putting all lands onto the battlefield tapped. He casts Eternal Witness. He returns Finale of Devastation to his hand. He casts Finale of Devastation where X equals 100,000, giving his creatures a huge pomp and haste. He moves to combat, swings with his swole army, and Sean wins the game. Ladies and gentlemen, what a wild set of games tonight. Congrats to Mike and Sean on their wins. In Game 1, the stack interaction was insane. With everyone bringing mid-range and heavy interaction decks, we knew this was going to be a good one. Mike used the stack so well. He let certain pieces resolve while keeping answers to spells lower in the stack to help his game-winning spells go off. Mike profited off of the greed of his opponents with his early Rhystic and game-breaking Dockside Extortionists. In Game 2, Sean showed that mid-range decks don't just like to draw cards and counter everyone's spells. Sometimes you just draw what you need for the turn 3 victory. Sean played smart and got what he needed when he needed it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more like this, be sure to subscribe. Well that about wraps it up for this episode. Tune in next time and we duke it out to see who will be king of the competitive EDH table. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time.